couple weekends later, this bad boy still looks just as beautiful as it did the day we built it. $800 later, we have an EFI kit. Uh, it's pretty, it's crazy. It costs about as much as like sniper EFI for a car. <laughs> so basically it just comes with the um, throttle body with fuel injection, uh, air fuel sensor, uh, ton of wiring, comes with its own software, hoses, mechan or electric fuel pump. So we'll be able to run a fuel, a fuel tank like uh, between our feet. So that'd be really cool. So first thing we're gonna do is we need to figure out how we're gonna get the intake manifold kind of bolted up here. It's very similar to a Makuni, so we're thinking it should just go something like this. We can use a Go Power Sports adapter, so let's get going. So the first thing we gotta do is we got this adapter here that you don't normally use for a 22 mil Makuni. So if I go Power Sports, and it's actually gonna work perfectly for this thing. Um, the only problem is I don't know if it needs to be mounted perfectly vertical. I highly doubt it because it's just a fuel injector, injector and a throttle body. So we're probably gonna mount it like this and see how it goes. And this will be perfect because we can use our intake tubing we used before. So. It's gonna be pretty sweet. Out with the old engine? Yeah, the old brand new Tillotson. Yeah. <laughs> very, very nice engine, yeah. but we got this one. Dude, this is gonna look so good. Man. Woo! <sighs> She's a little turbo heavy. Yeah, it didn't look Let's start to... those bolts in. All right, this EFI system is like super complicated. Uh, we have the fuel system pretty much laid out. It looks like there's, so fuel comes up through here, it reaches a T, um, and then this is a pressure regulator. So this line will go right to the carburetor, or I mean, I guess injector. the injector. Yeah. And then when the pressure reaches enough, it'll open up and that'll be the return line. And then tell us about the map sensor. You got the map sensor, just, there's just a little uh, bung right here for it. And then, I mean, it's, everything's pretty plug and play, yeah. it's just easy. It is the next day. And I just welded on the O2 nut. So that way we can have our sensor right there. It's at about a 45 degree angle. So what we need to do is we just need to kind of mock everything up for just being able to transport it easily. So I think I'm gonna cut out a piece of wood and then we need to start bolting the stuff, the components of the EFI kit and the oil system to it. That way when we go to the dyno, we can just carry it all and set it up pretty quick. Everything needs to be in one spot so it's easy to transport because we're gonna have to bring this thing to the dyno and then when we're reinstalling it on the cart, we'll be able to make everything super pretty, tuck everything up underneath the body here. So it'll be good. But with that in mind, let me explain what kind of jankiness is going on here. Uh, basically, we just have a, we, <laughs> I found this like door hinge stuff that has a bunch of holes in it. It's good for screwing through wood. So I just bent that, now I got a battery holder, and then I did the same thing for holding our gas tank. Um, and then we have the oil system. I screwed down the hose clamp and just clamped it in there. So now we have our complete oil system hooked up. And then now I'm gonna get started on, I'll mount two switches like somewhere around here so we can have oil pump and ignition. So yeah, basically now we have to do all the wiring stuff. I just kind of mocked out, laid out a little bit. We have the intake air sensor just kind of uh, stuck in here. And then we're just plugging in everything. <clears throat> and then here comes the injector. Super easy. Wait, wrong way. Yeah, very plug and play. And here's... This end is gonna look insane. Like even when it's fully on the cart, like all of this wiring is all gonna have to be somewhere. Got our top plate there. There's the O2. Whoa. Yeah. I mean, that looks sick just on its own too. Man. This thing, ah. Whew. Yeah, welcome to episode eight of the world's most expensive predator. Yeah. Hey guys, this is looking really crazy right now. I think we just built the, one of the world's most complicated predators. This thing's freaking wild. So, look at this. Got the EcoCal 
uh, just like tuning interface, and then uh, here's just like the GUI for updating our like new tunes if we decide to tune it today. All right. Yeah, not really sure to use this, but I'm sure. We'll so figure it out. I guess we do ignition on, and then just see what happens on the computer. Yeah. We're kind of learning with you also. Yeah. We haven't read anything, read any directions yet, so. Fuel pump priming. Any sort of base. Okay, let's go. Ready? Yep. couple weekends later, we're here back with the turbo cart. We did a ton of research. Jason's our resident tuner now, so. Yep, kinda know what's going on. Uh, I know everything how to use EcoCal, but the like intricacies of tuning, I'm not super sure about. So we'll be doing a lot of like guessing and checking, like change of value, do a run, stuff like that. Yeah. We want to do a completely separate tuning video, but we're, we're gonna just get it running good enough and rev it a little bit so we can hear turbo noises and stuff because I'm sure you all wanna hear this stage four predator with a turbo on it, so. guys thanks for watching this is super fun to do super cool build uh, thank you go power sports all the parts we use to build this cart are from go power sports and uh, we're just gonna have to do uh, take this kind of slow figure out a lot of the like intricacies of tuning figure out like just take one thing at a time and just fix each individual thing stay tuned the next video is us actually tuning this thing and putting load on the engine so we can actually make boost thanks for watching make sure to subscribe and like this video see you next time